Be it rainy season or winters or summers, in fact any season, there is one thing that all of us love and that's the bread pakoda. Don't you agree? These bread slices that are spiced with green chilies and chaat masala and coriander leaves and onion and garlic and then coated in a gram flour batter and then deep fried and crisp. Perfect along with a cup of chai, don't you think? Well, in today's Rose Kakana with Figaro Olive Oil, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really delicious, easy to make bread pakoda. So without wasting any time, let's just dive right in. So with me, I have some onions, green chilies, garlic, mint leaves, potatoes and bread slices. I'm going to start by making the pakoda filling, right? So for that, I'm going to chop up the uh, garlic, then the green chili. You can add one or two green chili if it's small, then maybe two. And like I have a big one here, so I'm adding just one. Bring the potatoes to the center and mash them up. And that's that. And I'm going to chop in the, add the chopped onion, ginger, garlic, the mint leaves. So I'm going to quickly chop them up. And add it in. Yeah, so now that I've had this, the only other spice that I'm going to add is the chaat masala. Right? You can add red chili powder if you want your bread pakoda to be more spicy. So I like my bread pakodas to be chatpata. And to this, just a pinch of salt. Just remember that chaat masala has some salt already. So I'm just going to add just a pinch of salt. Okay, so just mix it all up. And here, I'm just going to trim the edges a bit. take a rolling pin and roll, flatten it out a little bit. So when you flatten it out, it becomes easier to sort of uh, pinch the bread pieces together and then so and put the filling in. So you have enough room to fill it in, right? So I'm going to take this um, bread, the chatpata alu filling and place it in the center. Sometimes when um, we don't use a fresh bread, what, ha what can happen is the bread can tear and crumble apart. So, some, so when that happens, a great way to is probably either soak the bread in milk just a little bit so that the dryness goes away. So what I'm going to do is to sort of wet the edges because the crust is usually um, dry. So I'm just going to wet it so it seals better, right? So now it's soft, so it's easier for us to seal the pakodas. And there you go. And making these pakodas will become simple. So ensure that you have soft bread so you can sort of pinch them like that and they'll stick to each other. Now that's a perfect bite, isn't it? Now that the bread pakodas um, are filled and ready to be fried, I'm going to sort of coat them in a basin batter, gram flour batter. So I have some gram flour here. I'm going to put a little bit of ajwain, okay, and a pinch of salt to taste and I'm going to add in some Eno's fruit salt. Eno's fruit salt um, or any type of salt helps sort of make the crust nice and crisp. So I'm just going to add just a little bit, not too much, just a pinch. Yeah, otherwise it'll just bubble away and the batter won't be right. So now I'm going to add in some water. And give it a stir. So the batter should be such that so when you coat at the back of the spoon it coats really well right so it just doesn't flow and it stays so that's how thick the batter should be so when we dip the bread in it will coat itself really nicely. So I'm going to be adding some olive oil into the pan. Pure olive oil is 
great for cooking Indian food because it does not alter the taste and the taste remains the same. So what I'm going to do is to um, dip these breads in the gram flour batter. Notice how beautifully it coats itself and that's how thick the batter should be, okay? And I can see the ajwain getting stuck. It's beautiful. Okay, just drip out the excess and then slowly slide it in into the pot oil. At this point, I'm going to reduce the heat. I'm going to quickly add in the remaining. gently just fry them until they're golden brown and crisp okay ensure that you fry them in low heat so it crisps evenly from the inside okay beautifully fried notice that and when you tap into them you can actually feel that they're a little crisp just gonna keep it by the side just turn off the heat so that we don't burn all of them Notice how rustic they look, right? In proper shapes and they look so crisp and I can't wait to take a bite of it, but it's too hot right now for me to show you how delicious it tastes. But this recipe is really simple. Follow the simple tips that I shared with you and do give this recipe a try. When you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below because I'll be looking to hear back from you. And we'll be coming back with more such Rose Kakana recipes with Figaro olive oil. Do keep watching us and do keep trying our recipes. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.